Hello everyone, welcome back to the Data Monk. Uh, in today's session, we are going to talk about the n-tile function. Okay, so let us start it by a simple definition. n-tile function in SQL is basically used to distribute the data in roughly equal group. Okay, this is the syntax that we use, n-tile, then in the parenthesis we'll have number of groups in which we want to divide the data then we'll use the over keyword and then we can order them by a co uh, the column that we want right so i have already uh, made a data i have already made a table which has employer id employer name gender de uh, department and salary so now let us try to use the entire function on this given data right let us write select um, I want to select employer name gender department and salary okay then I'll write the entire function that is entire now this is a 10 row table a 12 row table right this is a 12 row table now um, say I want to have um, two groups I want to have two groups from the table I'll write the over keyword and then we'll order by let's say we'll order this by salary Okay, and I'll write the name as entire, or I can just write group. Okay, the group won't take it, so I can write it as it under the bracket, square bracket. Okay, after that, I'll write from salaries. All right. Now, uh, let us try running this. Okay, we can't use the name group. Let us give it the name N tile only. And let us try running this. Okay. So, if you notice, we had 12 rows here, right? We had 12 rows here and I wanted to divide it into two groups. So, Normally, if you see 6, 12 is divided by easily, uh, we can easily divide 12 by 2. So, it should give us two groups. That is what we are getting. The first six rows have got group number 1 and the next six rows have got group number 2. Right? So, this is how the data, this is how the rows are divided using the n-tile function. You can easily get groups uh, with this n-tile function. Now, for example, I wanted to have three groups from this table. How will uh, how will we divide this? So we have 12 rows and if we divide 12 by 3, we should get um, we should get three of them, right? So we have got three groups. Uh, first four have been assigned. First four have been assigned group number one next have been assigned group number two and next four have been assigned group number three all right now uh, say i want to divide this by five i want five groups and the number of rows are 12 as you know 12 is not divisible by five so let's see how our data gets distributed now if you see the first uh the first three rows get the first sequence then we have Next three rows get the second sequence, but then after that, next two rows get the third one, fourth one, and fifth one. Why so? Because 12 is not divisible by 5, so it has divided it accordingly. So first three, then three, then it has assigned two according to the sequence. Alright, so what happens is, the larger group will always come first. Okay, the larger group according to the salary will always come first and after that the rest of the groups will follow. Now, 
we can also use the partition by a uh, partition by clause here so if I use partition by say gender all right now then let's see how our groups will be divided let's see how our groups will be divided now see when we partition it by group so if you see the first four of them first they have taken the gender uh, column into consideration then we have uh, calculated the salaries then we have ordered them by salary all right ordered them by salary and after that we have assigned them the sequence if you notice now when the male male uh, row started when the male row started if you see the uh, rank the number has been reset so the value gets reset whenever you use the partition by clause and then the grouping has been done again right so this is how you use the partition uh, by clause in the entire function also I want to show you what will happen if you don't if you don't add any number here if you don't add any number expression here what will happen is that it will give us an error because this number expression in the parenthesis is mandatory otherwise how will the table know how the data is supposed to be divided how many group is the user demanding how will know that all right and also I want you to consider if I write a number greater than the rows that I have if I want if I told the uh, if I you know want the data to get divided into 20 groups although I'm just having 12 rows right now so let us see how that will happen if you see we have they have assigned the maximum value that they could according to the given data now because the values have been repeated and we have used the partition by clause also so the values have been reset again uh, if I just remove this partition by clause it will be able to understand this concept better if I remove the partition by clause oh sorry we can't have gender here now if you see the sequence goes from 1 to 12 that is the maximum number of rows that we have so whenever we are putting in a data which has value greater than the number of rows so it automatically assigns the values till the maximum row okay so I hope all these uh, different uh, variations of entire function is clear and you'll be able to use it according to the condition that has been given now looking forward to see you in upcoming sessions